Hey all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look using the new Anastasia Subculture Palette. I decided to go ahead and buy this palette because I wanted to see for myself how it was and I'll talk a little bit more about what I think about it at the end of the video so be sure to stick around if you want to know my thoughts on it. But if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. This was a free gift with purchase, so I thought I would give it a try today, and it is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I wasn't really crazy about it, but I don't really like mattifying products, so I will give it another try. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Stick Foundation is what I am using now, and I like to just draw it all on first, and then I'll go in with a brush and just blend it out. Now time to cover up these dark circles and I feel like this is the only concealer that does that and it is Shape Tape by Tarte. Now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set everything. And as usual for brows, I am using Cabral by Benefit. To make sure my brow hair stay in place, I am using the clear brow gel that comes in the Arch Architect by Tarte. I'm going to be using another Tarte product to contour with and it is their new face shaping palette. You can do so many things with it. You can contour, you can fill in your eyebrows, and you can use it for eyeshadow. It's like an all-in-one palette. For blush, I started off by using one from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. I used the shade Amaretto, but I wanted something different for the look, so I went in on top of that with a Urban Decay blush. Y'all are probably tired of me using this too, but it's still my favorite highlight. I am using Champagne Pop, but then I did go in on top of that with one of the Anastasia Glow Kits, and I'm using the shade Spectra from the Aurora palette. Now on to eyes. I am starting off with the shade Dawn and just putting this right above my crease. For the crease, I'm using the shade Roxy. Taking the brush that came in the palette, I'm using the shade Axis and placing it all over my lid. I also place that same shade in the crease just to blend the two shades together and now I'm just going back in with the shade Roxy just to make that stand out a little more. I already lined my lower waterline with a black gel liner and now I'm taking the shade All Star and just dragging it along my lower lash line. I did apply some mascara before adding my false lashes and today I use the Tarte Gifted Mascara and for lashes I am using the Iconic Light by House of Lashes. And to finish off the look I am using an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Stark Naked. So that completes this look. I hope that y'all liked it. As far as my thoughts on this palette, there is quite a bit of fallout, but if you tap off the extra product, then it's not an issue. And some of the colors were a little harder to blend out, but they did. You just have to take some extra time. So I like this palette, and like I said earlier, these colors are perfect for fall. So if you liked this look, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel but I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching and until next time bye all